public holiday, Good Friday. And Woodford's still working. They're still working. They're still training. While everybody else isn't. What's up, Shandor? Hey, bro. He's in his full kit. Yeah, What's up, Hodge? Good to see you. You too, man. This is what we call a dual session today. A dual session. Two pro athletes in breed. Two pro athletes in breed. So for everyone out here, this is Hodge. Hodge, everyone. Plays the 36ers, starting centre. Um, came to me last year with a fucked knee. Um, went to fair bit of work in the off-season. Got to a point where his knee was okay. Once again, focusing on my stuff, the glutes, lower body strength, VMO, stuff like that, mobility. And he had a good season this year, so anything you want to say to anyone? Or? Uh, man, hmm. Woody's good, man. Uh, not just saying that because I'm on the show. Shit! Uh, wow! And the NBL, especially in, in, in Australian juniors, athlete development is sort of really underdone. It's really underdone in the NBL. It's caused a lot of guys to get injured. Um, Great, you can start with the uh, squat jumps. It's, it's hurt a lot of guys' careers because their bodies aren't able to cope with the load uh, and to excel at that. So what Woody does is good stuff. Um, just to make sure you stay, stay healthy, which is the main thing about staying on um, and become better athletes, and that's what's all about. What do we got? So, Shandor, second session. Hodge, second session. Brianna, she only does one session with me a week. Now, for everyone who doesn't know Brianna, Brianna's a performance coach here at West. Is there anything you want to say to anyone? There you go. Elite. Elite. <laughs> um, Elite. And head down to West if you want to train with some of the professionals. Single leg broad jump continues week three, three sets of four. We're gonna, we, we, the, the third week we really want to focus on as much distance as possible, keeping the ground contact time short as possible because it's a skill. You know, we've, we, how we overload with um, plyos is minimal ground contact time. You want to keep the contact, ground contact time shorter, that elastic energy, that store and release elastic energy. And we want to improve the skill. Trap bar deadlift high handles, he's going to go heavy. I'm going high now. Yeah, we flipped it over, so we're going to go heavy there. Barbell front rack, uh, barbell front rack Bulgarians, lateral flexion, done. Hodge, he's in a volume phase, accumulation phase. So he's got four weeks accumulation, four weeks intensification. RDL snatch, three sets of five. Rack pulls, five sets of ten. With my, um, with my taller guys, I don't like to pull them from the floor. They've got longer levers. Look at him, he looks so gangly. Look at his legs. He's seven feet tall. Seven foot tall. Um, so there's, probably, there's no point of um, pulling them from the floor. Um, just because they can't get in the right position, they have the, the appropriate mobility. So I rack pull them or trap bar them for Hodge because he's so lanky. Um, I just rack pull them a lot stronger position. Um, split squat for his uh, supplementary quad dominant pallet press and intellectual flexion. I'm not gonna, he's not going to do any conditioning today. So uh, today, today will be good for all the viewers out there. Today will be good to watch because we've got two, two pro guys, one rugby league, one NBL, one basketball. Um, just to see, the, it's really good that you are here, just to see the contrasting differences and, you know, the, the same principles, but yeah, because, I mean, you look at his height, man, like, he's like, Gandalf, you know of Lord of the Rings? Gandalf? Is he real? Well, in comparison You know, you know what I mean, like, Gandalf, like, hey, I want the ring, you know? <laughs> and then you look at this idiot over here. Just wait, wait, then you look at this idiot over here. Let me keep going with this one. And you look at this idiot over here, have a look at him. He's, oh, I can't even look at him. I've got really no comeback at the moment, that's fucking a terrible call. So, and then you got this guy here. So it'll be two, two different contrasting in terms of their body types, but both at the top level in their sport. Both shocking heads as well. It's just not true. Oh, for fuck. Can you <laughs> shut up? So you get a dog in the term, you just <laughs> What? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's, like, it's like not even fun. It's like teasing a baby. <laughs> Off me oh, what sort of AIDS or something, do I? No. So what is this? What are you doing this one for? So this is called giant arm swings. I want to talk to everyone about sprinting, jumping. So jumping, landing, sprinting, deceleration, change direction. It's a motor skill that needs to be coached. So instead of just saying just go out and sprint, there's two factors to sprint speed: stride length, which can improve by relative strength and mobility, and stride frequency, which can improve by mechanics. Okay, so. I'm a real big believer because of my background in motor control, motor learning, mainly motor control, but motor learning is amalgamated with motor control, um, that you want to break down each skill into part practice and bring it together as a whole practice. So what I'm doing here is I'm breaking down his arm action, okay, so he's going about 70, 80%, then he slows it right down to perfect, then he, he's pretty much refining the arm drive, okay? And then once we refined it, then we go into the full movement, then we go down. What's the oh, you start? You just start wide and then you come in, and then you come into, you've got three, three, three points. Three focuses. Face cheek to butt cheek, 
rotate the shoulder, elbow at nine degrees. They're the three focuses of our arm oh, drive. This, that one's the acceleration phase. No, 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 no. You just start wide. It's giant arms. You just start wide, start wide, then you come into it. There's no reason why you do that. I just always start on the way. Yeah, yeah, you, there, there you, you could use that. I gave you a reason. You well, there you go. You're there's welcome. There's a justification. Because there's, there you, you know, those well, yeah, because yeah, you want to really push it forward. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hodge over here. Hodge is in a volume phase right now. Accumulation phase. So accumulation, when we look at accumulation, it's higher volume, it's minimal rest periods. And we're looking for your, your higher sets, so your four, five, six sets, yeah. Um, and you're looking for rep range. You know, your traditional hypertrophy loading is eight to 12 reps, two minutes rest in between sets. Okay, and always remember there's three factors to, max, uh, to maximizing muscular hypertrophy, which is the size of muscle. And if you can put it on the screen now. Oh, here we First go. one, mechanical tension. Yeah? Number two, metabolic stress. We're looking for that lactate hydrogen. So we're, we're training that acidic, acidic environment. And the third one is muscle damage. Oh, running out of room on the yeah, screen here. Running out of room, muscle damage. So three factors, mechanical tension, metabolic stress, muscle damage. Okay, so, but also what a lot of people don't understand about maximizing muscular size is if you don't eat, you don't fucking grow. So all these guys, you might train hard. I got a lot of young kids that train fucking hard, man. Like, oh, would I was in the gym, you know, I, I did get, you know, it was a real good session. Um, and I said, well, what did you eat afterwards? They said, well, nothing. I had a shake and that was it. And I said, well, fuck, you need to be getting your calories in, especially if you're in a bulking phase, you need to be fucking eating. And they don't fucking eat enough. How so much do you eat per day, you think? You know, calories or meals? I try and eat six, like, six meals a day. So I try and eat snacks to so go breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, yeah. you know. Do, do they, do they have, when you're at the club, do they give you food or no? But you have access to a nutritionist. Yeah, we can get a nutritionist and stuff, but we don't, I mean, you got to buy your own. That's, I mean, he's, in a, he's in a volume phase. Um, so right now, I'm, when we're in the off season, I like to build that, um, that posterior chain. I love developing eccentric strength of the hamstrings. We know one of the factors to prevent hamstring injuries is eccentric strength. Okay, so there's four factors to hamstring strains. I'll quickly go over it. Uh, previous, hamstring, uh, previous hamstring injury, age, eccentric strength, and fatigue. Okay, so this is really working on developing the posterior chain. Of an RDL, Few things I want to see. Can the athlete keep their shins vertical? Can they keep their feet flat? Can they control the negative? Can they keep the neck neutral? Um, can they keep the bar close to their body? Can they explode up in extension and use um, hip extension, not back extension? Can they squeeze the glutes for three seconds? That, these are the cues I looked for and that was fine. Two and a half off, five on. Yeah, I know. Come on. Yeah, good. 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 Yeah, no. so you see that see, Do you guys all see that? Um, that the, the rock that, that, that was left coming back here, was it? Yeah. The, coming back here, it's a fine line between horizontal and vertical displacement. We want to train those both force vectors. But if he's too horizontal, you could see there he was just coming off the ground by about that much, not enough. So you want a bit, little bit more vertical height as well. So you want that 45 degree. That's the reason why we do it, okay? So Bree's doing a safety basket, and I'll explain in a second. Soft touch driver. We got a squat to box is a soft touch. You can see um, uh, Brianna was just soft touching and driving up. Okay. The other one is a pause and drive up. Now, the one that's a lot harder is the pause because you're you're cutting up that off that stretch reflex. You're not using that elastic energy. Okay. So I like to coach box squatting first, where you're pausing. Not a Louis Simmons box squat for a quick power lifter. You know, we're pausing. We're, we're keeping the tension. We're pausing. We're driving up. So we're developing what we call starting strength the ability to be exposed from a dead stop, okay? So we're pausing, we're driving up. After they've learned that and they're not rushing it, then we can add a touch and go, so a, a squat to box where it's a soft touch and drive up. How's that weight, good? Yeah, it's good. So you can see his face pretty good. Put out two and a half each side. Um, One more set. Press. Press. Racket, good. Do you see? Have a, like, um, <laughs> we're, um, <laughs> you can't get much higher. <laughs> That's, that's where he'd squat though, yeah, that's where he'd fucking squat. That's what David Anderson has to do at, uh, yeah. at Melbourne, like he maxes it out. 215, and if he does it, if he pulls it... Is that 215? Mate, fuck! 20 foot, just wait, 20 foot, just wait. 20, 40, 60, 80, 160, 160, 180, 190, 200, 210, 215, go, 215, we're good. Okay. Fucking cross, mate. Are you doing that on purpose now, you fuckhead? Nah, I'm There you go, tighten up, tension. Press! Tighten up. Yes. Um, That's easy. No, 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 no. Let's not go. Let's not throw the baby up the bathwater here. I'll drown the baby if I keep going. Um, <laughs> That's the best. Nah, I'm, I'm it was easy, but no, relax. We'll just take it easy. Oh, I didn't even say I anything. Want, I don't want to break your record. It's alright. Oh, fuck. I would, and the funny thing is, Alex worked it out. You got to pull. You got to pull about two sixty. It's not going to happen.
Yeah. Knees out, slack of the bar, tighten up. And press. Good, pull the slack of the bar before you pull the three. Press. Ten. Good. Next set, what I want to do is put the mini band above your knee, push your knees out against the band, facilitate glute med, yeah. drop your neck, pull the slack of the bar. And also, is grip becoming your limiting factor? Go uh, alternate grip, all right? One over one. See if you can remember that. Rule, rule of thumb that we look for with deadlifting, this is the number one rule that I use, and I got it off Mike Boyle, so I can't really talk about it, but it's, it's common sense. When the back's flat, you can't get injured. Like, literally, if you're rounding your back, that's when you're gonna start getting issues. So, as long as you're, you've got a flat back, you're holding neutral, okay, you're not getting into flexion, you're not losing that tension, you're not gonna get injured. That's my rule of thumb, okay? Number one rule is always look at risk versus reward when choosing exercises, okay? So, if everyone out there wants to understand what risk versus reward is, there's always a risk that comes from the exercise, exercise and there's always a reward, Like okay? straight bar versus trap bar. Correct, exactly. So, let's say I straight bar him, right? The risk bar weighs reward, yeah? Because you've got long levers, doesn't have the mobility, probably get in that right position, right? So, why the fuck would you put him in that position? So every exercise I, exercise I choose is just a risk versus reward. You want to look at it that way. Reset. Ugh. Good. I reckon, look. It's rocking the fucking roof. Huh? You can hear the roof rattle because when he drops What it. do you want me to do about that? Do you want me to have No, I think, it's, I, think it's, I think it's like, great. Two, 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 no, fi 220. Come fix on, the roof. Wood. You weren't happy with that second rep? Nah, not at all. Not at all. See, because I wasn't fucking happy with it. Do you want to fucking raise? I'll tell you why I wasn't fucking happy with it. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> because you because you lost tension before you pulled. Oh, okay. And if I if I say fucking jump, you say how how high. If I say run, you say how fast. If I say it's a bad rep, it's a fucking bad rep. Because we expect stand up here. You you expect it as well. Didn't you feel it? Sure, you felt it. Yeah. Your first rep was clean. Your first rep was clean, beautiful. Second rep, you can do better. Ten. Chris, nice, good. Two more sets. Oh, yeah. and, oh, you're fucking good, man. Fucking great. That was good. Yeah, man. Fuck, is that how clean that is, though? Very man, you know when you you actually fucking it's your easy. strength is just going up, up, up. The only thing we've got to work on you and me, squat. squat. Yeah. Your deadlift, man. That rack pull's fucking clean. Even to see a guy came on and wrote, "Fuck, that was clean." Do you yeah. see that? Yeah. yeah. Great message me. He's like, "Fuck, man, that was clean." What about 1.2 pounds body weight for about 10 reps? That's pretty good mate, for someone his mate, size. Fucking, I'll say to him that this dude came on and messaged me like, I don't know, some one of my um. Fans, he's like, um, I'll fight you for a while, blah, blah, He goes, that basketball man, fucking, he's got good motor. He was out, uh, he was pumping me up. Because yeah, he trains basketball players as well. He goes, man, fucking, you know, I like what you do with him. Yeah, all the shit. Gonna yeah man, way. fuck, but you got long levers, man. That's, it is, but, I don't know. That's good, we'll get strong. We're going to get, man, you, you're going to keep getting better. Like, that's, that's quick, man. 10 reps for that. He's going to go 20, 40, 60. One, two, that's, he's going to go 140 for 10. So take the 10, that's, five off, put three That's pretty impressive, on. that's good. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Shandor asked the question what I do with Hodge when I squat him because he, he has longer levers. When I talk about levers, he's got longer legs. So he's compared from me to um, Hodge to Shandor, we've got different lengths in our, in our femurs. So the range is going to be a lot different. So Shandor asked the question, you know, uh, do you go to parallel with Hodge? How I work on it with my guys, I start really high. I use a medium sized box and I stack the plates up. As they improve their mobility and motor control to overload the movement, I take the, the plates away, thus creating greater range of motion, greater stretch, greater overload, greater adaptation. Okay? Oh, here we go. 225, still five kilos off my max of uh, straight bar. Hips, hips, hips. Good. More tighten up. Knees out, lats. Press, 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 press. Oh. I can't put that one up. I feel you, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, I can't put that up, but. Uh, it's like you horizontally moved. If you look at the second one, first one's fine. Watch the second one, you load your, you watch your back when you pull. Watch this, watch real slow mo. There, see that? Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's not the worst thing. I mean, it's not like, fuck, it's heavy. It's like when I pulled 230 sumo, some dude wrote. Now we'll start like, not being silly and going like two and a half kilos every phase now, yeah? It won't be much. Yeah, maybe 1.25, bro. You're not gonna hit much more. Yeah. You're gonna, man, you're gonna hit a point where you're a threshold, man. Like your threshold for how far your strength gains can go. You're, you're I don't need, I, I never really thought we'd start ticking over this anyway. Didn't you? Well, no, yeah. I thought we were going to stop. We always said we were going to stop at like 2.20 or something. No, you don't stop. It's not like you stop. You I'd stop, but like... I know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. But, but we can still, we're still just uh, doing sorry. big jumps. Now we can just... Oh, now the jumps aren't going to be that big. They're going to pull back, yeah, pull right back now. But you got to really... Even go for it, just like... So the next one's low bar, so what the... I'll be just around the 2.20... 2.20, 2.20. Low 220. Yeah. Around there, yeah. Control. Hip goes straight down. Drive. Ward. Quad. 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 Flat. Quad. Yeah, really good. Great. One. Two. Three. Nine. 
10. Wow. Good. Obliques. Uh, can't talk to women, mate, unless you're drunk or they're drunk. Confident, you know, just come across <laughs> Facebook. Articulate. Hey, you know. go talk to four women face to face. Well, good show. You should go to keyboard. Mate, no oh, chance. The thing is, I can articulate my work to any woman in the world, mate. Don't you worry about yeah. me, mate. Yeah, when they can't see you. Don't face worry. Face. That's alright, mate. You can, you can, you can hurt them. You can try and slay me up to ask for work. <laughs> mate, what were you, like your hair, mate? You look like a grease ball, mate. Cut your hair. You got on national TV. Did you drop my name once? Why would I? Mate. I dropped your name enough. Yeah, you haven't. Oh, mate, you're on national TV. My whole, my whole life revolves around you. <laughs> <laughs> Nas national TV, I thought you could have dropped these ones, but I just want to give a shout out to my boys.